I've created this video to give closure to a section of the numbering system that I now use. And the reason why is consistency and clarity. This is the number system, or the section of the number system, how I learned it in school, from kindergarten on up. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I never questioned it until a couple months ago. And what started me questioning it was this word 11. I know that a single vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word is a particle of negation. And that's any word. So I was looking for a, a solution to that. Much like I looked to the solution uh, for the number O-N-E, one. And the way I found the solution to that is that I performed a salvage on this O-E-N. The O-E is a digraph, and I made it positive performance. So then I went into the rest of this section of the numbering system, and I noticed if you take the first part of the word, going backwards, we have 9, 8, 7, 6, and then we have 5th. What's a 5th? I know what a 5th is, but what's a 5th? Then we have 4, then we have a 3rd. What's a 3rd? Is that someone speaking with a lisp, or is that a number? I don't know. We have a twee. And we have an Ellie, 11, and a 12. However you want to say it. There's not much consistency there. So I wanted to create a consistency and a clarity, a set pattern that you could see. And so therefore, I created one teen, two teen, three teen, four teen, five teen, six teen, seven teen, eight teen, and nine Team. It's much more consistent. Every word has the word teen in it as a compound fact, and it's pretty simple. Now, some people would say, why would you do that? That makes no sense. We learned it this way. Why do you want to change it? Well, it's all part of the stopping and correcting, and I have closure on this. I have full closure on this. I don't have closure on why 11 is 11, why 12 is 12. Who chose to make 13, 13? Why is it third? <laughs> or fifth? Well, we don't have to ask those questions anymore. We have these now. And also, I ran into this in seven. The SE is a particle of negation which I have other videos where I give closure on that, and you can uh, check those out for yourself. So I used the Old English. I did a salvage on it and used the Old English S-E-O-F-A-N because the S-E-O functions as its own particle, and then the F-A-N is the, is the next particle, as opposed to the S-E functioning as its own particle, a negative one, and then the V-E-N. During the process of putting together my video explaining the clarity that I provided to myself and hopefully to the viewer with my numbering system of the teen section of the numbers, I realized that it also necessitated changing these to a more consistent pattern. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 we have the same problems in there. We have twa, we have thur, we have f-o-r, we have f-i-f, and of course, we have that. So what I did was, I quickly wrote these down over here. We have 2t, 3t, 4t, 5t, 6t, 7t, 8t, and 9t. Now they're consistent phonetically and spelling-wise as compound facts.
and they represent these numbers right here. So if you would go further in depth, if, we're, if you were to go into the numbering system of the two T's, it's not the twenties, but the two T's, you would say two T1, two T2, two T3. <laughs> so it's fun. Same thing with three T, four T, five T, six T, so on and so forth. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I hope it helps someone out there. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in the confidential at G 17 at gmail.com if you like it hit the uh, like button thumbs up subscribe please turn on your notifications and uh, again this is all open source if you want to use it you come and join her with it go ahead if not use this that's cool too it's whatever you can give closure to for yourself in the depths of your heart, in your psyche, your mind, your spirit, whatever you have full closure on with yourself, then you can convey it to someone else, as I just did here, and um, you control your language. That is the power of controlling one's own language. Thank you very much for watching.